Alright, so I noticed your wardrobe seriously lacking in the slowpoke department, so if you'd like to fix that, you can check out my all new Paul inspired merch design. Our dude is not in the Gen 8 Pokedex, unfortunately, but you can support him in his absence and help free the guy by repping this bad boy. Also, YouTube viewers can get free shipping by using the code Paul at checkout. Go ahead and hit that link in the description if that's something you're into. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. It is officially November 15th, and we are about to begin our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. I am super excited for this. Without any further ado, let's just hop right into it here. We're going to select English, and we got ourselves a little character selection here. Looking cool. We're going to go with... Uh, this guy definitely is going to resemble me the most. My name is Hayden. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you. It is going to be... Pretty exciting jumping into Generation 8. I've been anticipating this so much. I Seriously, this is I've literally been sitting at my computer waiting for this all day. So we are going to register our character. I can't believe, we, I can't believe we're getting into it, boys. I've seen a lot of things about this game. Not a whole lot of them have been too negative, but I'm excited to see for myself. I've been kind of mostly just waiting because i got to judge for myself. What do we got going on here? Right here on a soccer field, okay. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. It is quite wonderful. It is damn electric in this place right now. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. Okay, let's see the Pokemon guy. You know what we're here for, sir. He is going to bust out a Pokeball. And what? <laughs> okay, he busts out an elephant that we have not ever seen before. Hello? That thing actually looks pretty legit. I, I dig it. I dig it. We don't have a lot of elephants. Also got some, uh, some pit ups flying by. Pokemon are all around us in the sea and the sky, even with us in our towns. And with those, and those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. I like how they're starting us off in a stadium. This is so incredibly hyped. They're just tossing out the elephant at us right in the beginning. I can't handle it, guy. This guy's got some mean facial hair. What's what's going on there? You're looking a little patchy, boy. Getting carried away? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. It's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze into the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Okay. Gonna hit us with an ex exhibition match right from the start? This man's got fireworks? Okay. You can definitely tell this guy's important due to... The just epic nature of his outfit. I dig it. He's also got the Charizard. Of course he does. Nintendo, her Game Freak has to hit us with the Charizard straight straight off the bat. There's also this freaking thing. I don't even remember what this thing's called. Exhibition or not, Leon. Your pristine record. Okay, I did not even read that. This guy doesn't lose battles, apparently. Are we about to witness the champion battle, right? Okay, he's going to Dynamax right from the start. My heart cannot handle this. You got hit us with a Dynamax Charizard. This man is an absolute unit. I am in awe, in awe of the size of this lad. That was an intro right there, ladies and gentlemen. I am fired up. And then they hit us with what really matters, and that is Wooloo. Who is uh, looking pretty peaceful. Nice little hobbit home, it looks like. My god, I'm actually... I'm thinking the graphics look pretty damn amazing so far. We have a Munchlax sleeping on the old rug, of course. It's not a home without a Munchlax, just chilling. And uh, we're looking pretty tall. We're looking long and slim these days. Look at that. Am I, am I playing a Switch or is that my Pokedex? What's going on here? So, Hop is going to head it. This man's name is Hop. That's, you, you read that correctly. That's your new, that's your Flash new phone, Aiden. That your Flash new phone? What? Hello? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be to, with his famous Charizard pose. Is this man going to hit us with a Z-move pose? Okay, no, he's not. Didn't expect to see you here, here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Hayden. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Your brother? Okay. Already hitting us with some, some character lore. Love to see it. Come with me, Hayden. He should be here any minute. Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. I ain't gonna forget the bag, Hop. We're gonna put all the mons in there, boy. Gotta run. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're just chilling on the couch. 
nice little relaxing day. Hold on, the first thing I gotta do is the little spinny thing. I The first time I saw this, I thought this man was gonna dab on us, and I, I about threw my game into the trash, but he doesn't, so he does a little, we're a little spinny. Anyway, we got a, uh, this, this boy is sleepy as hell. We get on the one knee. Can I pet him, please? Tell me I can pet him. No, I can't. Okay, well. Unfortunate. That mirror also does not work. But, uh, we are just running around. Is what's up, mum? Rushing off in that state, Hayden, don't, didn't hop say to bring your bag. Saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Oh, you can't, can't forget the hat. Gotta keep them ears warm, boy. Alright, do we, hello? We have a much larger house than the usual Pokemon games. No upstairs, it seems, though. You grab your dad's old bag. Where is the father? I need a father figure, damn it. Okay, we're looking kind of fresh, though, in the beanie. Gotta fix the hair real quick. Night. I'm actually thinking these graphics look fantastic. Adventure Guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You can save progress by selecting Save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map. You can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key section, key item section in your bag. Cool. So we do have the interface for pretty much everything here, which is nice. We got the town map right there. We also have the bag, which we do actually start off with three potions. So they are not playing. Um, treasures. Okay. Got a little treasure pocket. Nice. Also ingredients, which should be cool. Um, so we also start off with a fishing rod, which is interesting. Okay. Love to see it. Let's check out the town map just to kind of see... What the old Rotom phone is looking like. And I actually do really like the art style of this uh, of this map. That's actually pretty sweet. So, just directly above us, we have Route 1. Then we have Wedgehurst. And Route 2, which then leads to a little... Little pond or lake, which is Route 2. So, nice little house right there. It seems... Oh, we can just... We can just go all the way through it, man. We got it. We're gonna... We're gonna hold off on looking at too much of the town map. Because we have to get our asses outside. And uh, we're just going to head out that way. And who knows where that little, where that door goes behind us. But would you look at the beauty? It is a beautiful day, even though at the time of recording it is, in fact, midnight Eastern Standard Time. But Hop is out here waiting. He's got his Wooloo. And uh, will somebody tell me where I can get the elephant? Oh, there's a buddy right here, too. Hey there, little buddy. Please, why can't I pet him? What the hell? All right, what's happening, Hop? There's a Butterfree in the background over there. Nice. Have a look at you, Hayden. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. Yeah, I got a damn trunk on my back out here. At least you know it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. I don't know, I don't know about that. The Snorlax be looking pretty... a little bit too big. Willu is uh, about to bust through the fence. Can I catch this thing, please? It's using Rollout on the fence. Free the guy. Free my boy Willu. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No, everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in Slumbering Weld. And did it just get darker? Or am I crazy? Alright, well, now that's taken care of. How about it, Hayden? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. Uh, what with you lugging about in that old bag? Alright, well. His Wolu just rolls after him. I, they're, they're amazing. So it seems that we basically can just run and walk. You don't have to hold B or any of that. The running shoes are a thing of the past. What kind of hieroglyphs do we got here? A farming town since the days of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Cool. These, this looks amazing so far. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. That is super amazing. I recognize this right here. We are about to be able to get our starter right here. So I'm going to assume we're supposed to go in here. What is popping? Nice little... Nice little humble abode, don't mind me, just walking in. Nobody ever waits for you in Pokemon games. What the hell? They always just run off. There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Hayden. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? And you got him crammed in a cupboard. These people are so... Okay, he's still not here yet. For a hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably just... He probably only arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going. You know, Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. Indeed. Gotta come with, Hayden. Still got, never met my big bro, right? Can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. So they're hitting us with the champion real early. Um, I kind of want to explore a little bit. We have an upstairs here. The camera angles are a little bit goofy, it seems. But I, it seems like it could take them getting used to. Uh, we have some Kanto. The poster's on the top of the three most popular Pokemon in Galar. 
The three most popular Pokemon in Galar are in fact all not from Galar. So that's interesting. Not sure why they would hit us with that. Collection of various caps. Let me steal one. Hold up. So that thing is a... The, <laughs> the Yoga Ball thing is a freaking Pokeball. I should have talked to that lady. Hold up. Maybe there's a little interesting... Leon is so busy, he hardly comes home. I like to keep his room clean and tidy. Well, alright. Thank you for nothing, lady. I need to get my damn Pokemon. Uh, if you guys are unaware, the starter Pokemon in this game are actually shiny locked, which is quite unfortunate. Um, you can actually breed for them to be shiny, but in terms of just getting them from right from the start, they are actually shiny locked, so that's a real bummer. But we wouldn't get the damn shiny starter anyway. Wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. Got my Willow with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Hayden, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. So he's just got his, uh, he's got his Wolu. So I guess Hop isn't going to end up getting one of the, one of the starters, but. So we have seen a little bit of Route 1 from uh, the stuff that they've shown in like the trailers, but hey, what's up, buddy? Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Oh, yeah. Lots of smooth camera angles. I really like how they kind of easy into that. There is some tall grass here, but we are Pokemonless, so we are not going to hit that up. What is going on over here? Did that man just... Did, did, did... As soon as you come over here, that Charizard just teleports in. That was... <laughs> okay. So the champion's just chilling out here, flexing his Charizard on everybody in the early towns. He's like, yeah, you peasants wouldn't know anything about this. What is happening? This man is looking extra as hell, but it's fine. It's looking pretty fresh, buddy. He's straight up just flexing out here. You got your cape on. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. Hope, you're all, hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. Uh, looking a little bit laggy here on this screen, but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Why has it got to be Charizard? I feel like, they, why, why couldn't they hit us with, like, him having the pseudo-legendary this generation? I don't know. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish for Gallus trainers to work together uh, to become the strongest in all the world. And he's going to glar at us. Drar at, at us one time. <laughs> Lee. Lee! Hop. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be hating him, I right? Yeah, I'm ready to battle, boy. Give me a... Give me a Pokemon, please. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Hayden. But I can beat both of you back home. Oh, this man is in a hurry all the damn time. With a proper rival of his own, but he'd push himself to become something truly special. And I will fill that role. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell today. Don't you fret. Always be around. He's got like some sponsors on the back of his uh, on the back of his cape, which is kind of interesting. Nice, yeah, gonna gonna pan up to the sky, and I think the moment of truth is upon us. We are back at his house. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. He is gonna give us our starters. You brought Hayden and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. This guy's kind of kind of full of himself, but you know, I guess he deserves it. This man's got a freaking Gigantamax Charizard, and he's the champion. He's got hella sponsors, so he's, he's earned it, I suppose. Take a good look, you two. And he is going to toss all three out at the same time. And the lads are here. We got Grookey, we have Score Bunny, and last but not least, the boy Sobble. Um, so... I've been thinking a lot about these decisions. I, I, ooh, he's gonna hop in the pond. Oh my god, Score Bunny doesn't have any fire to do, so he's just gonna kind of make his own fire. Grookey's got the tree. Sobble's got the water. This animation is actually great. He's gonna, he's gonna pound on it. Oh, okay. You're just gonna kill the Score Bunny like that. Okay, relax, Sobble. Hot damn. You made Sobble cry. We don't take too kindly to bullies around here, Score Bunny. I might have to whip that ass. All right, line up, everyone. 
So they're just gonna line up. This is awesome. I have been dreaming about this damn day for so long. I'm about to choose my starter. So, look at the excitement on the face. I'm actually showing a little emotion. We love, we'll love to see it. So we're gonna transition into a little bit of a loading screen here, and now, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo, after all. So, do we go with Grookey, the grass-type Pokemon? This little lad is pretty amazing. I do actually like Grookey a lot. But, we are not gonna go with Grookey. Are we gonna go with Score Bunny? Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these choices. I, I really do like them all. Score Bunny is Fire-type, filled with... Filled to bursting with fiery passion. We are not set with Score Bunny, and that is gonna leave us with only one option. There was only one choice the entire time. The saddest boy in all the land. That's the water type Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type Pokemon Sobble, you best believe we're going with Sobble. From the, from the beginning of being introduced to these starters, I felt like I had to go with Sobble. This thing, I, I had to do it. So, we do have to give this thing a nickname. You know how we do it on my channel. I honestly have not really put much thought into what the hell I'm going to name this thing. But you know what? This little lad looks like... He looks like his name would be Dexter. I like to kind of just name my starters just right off the bat. I don't know how I came up with that. But Dexter is now in our party. Check it out. Going to hit him with a double high five. Okay. <laughs> so we've got our starter officially. We are ready to start whooping some ass. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. What a great rival. He's already going to give us the type advantage. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. I don't even know what would have been my second choice. Probably Grookey. But I love Score Bunny too. It's, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along this Pokemon for you and Hayden. It's two you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Oh, don't worry, buddy. We're coming for you. Oh, the poor Grookey doesn't have a friend, though. What the hell? And you'll come with me. Okay, a Grookey does get a friend. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but a real strong and real kind, too. That Charizard looks angry. All right, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon. And let's all eat. So we're going to go catch a nice little supper, it seems. Okay, a little family barbecue. The sounds remind me of the spiders from Minecraft, which is weird. This man has got some kebabs. That's actually the animation from Sun and Moon. I know a lot of you, if you've been following kind of like some of the leaks and stuff on Twitter, people are analyzing a lot of the animations and saying that they've taken a lot from Sun and Moon. I do believe that that was an exact animation that they kind of carried over, which I'm totally fine with. Honestly, I don't really mind a lot of that. People are real nitpicky, but I'm just going to have to see for myself. You spent the whole night with that new partner you're as right, Hop. You two getting along all right, understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Hayden's made fast friends with the Sobble, too. Listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trusted one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals of me, the unbeatable champion. We, we, listen, listen, guy. We understand you're unbeatable. You have golden eyes. I'm not afraid. If you think Hayden might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. Not planning to lose to him and miss out my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Hold on, is this guy ever lost? They haven't told us. <laughs> proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. You think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing, to take, willing and ready to take on Hop in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? I don't know if I'd say that, buddy. I've battled a few times. We're going to go ahead and just say yes. <laughs> Leaving your partner Pokemon and care for them too. With all your heart. Those two things and I'm certain you'll choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Have a champion time battling. Is it? Is this some type of European saying? European saying? I don't know. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. We got the world's tiniest Pokemon stadium right here. I've read every book and magazine you left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. So we've got ourselves our first battle. Challenged Pokemon Trainer Hop. Got the same golden eyes as his brother. So he is going to lead off with his Wooloo. It's unfair because this lad has two freaking Pokemon. What What the hell? Uh, so that is our buddy Dexter. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Freaking cheating, man. So this is our first look at the interface for battling. We're going to go ahead and just click Fight. 
Although, hold up, let's actually click Pokemon. Let's take a look at our summary of our buddy, De our buddy Dexter here. Um, so, got the Torrent ability. Kind of interesting just to see. It's actually Timid by Nature, which I'm pretty sure is going to be great for our Sobble. Um, that is going to increase our speed. It helps because we're a special attacker. It decreases our physical. Um, but that is, that, that's fine. We'll take Timid. Uh, I do actually believe it is pretty easy to change natures in this game. I've seen a little bit about it. I'm not sure exactly the details, uh, but I know that they did make a pretty, pretty nice. Oh my god! Of course, our first attack we take in this game is a critical hit. You, that is pretty much my luck. We're just gonna continue to click pound. Uh, we're gonna get through this Wooloo. We unfortunately do not have a water move against this freaking score bunny, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna pound away with our little chameleon hands and the Wooloo is down. You hate to do it, they really make you kill a Wooloo right from the start, the most precious thing that's ever lived. We do great at level 6, maybe we get Water Gun here. Yep, we sure do. Uh, so that is perfect. They kind of set you up for success here. Added another trusty ally to my team. So there is the bunny, little energetic boy who is just hippity hopping around. We're gonna hit you with a Water Gun. Interested to see the animation here. Uh, so we are going to Water Gun. Looking pretty nice going to be a solid 2 hit KO. Oh shit, it's about to get crazy. Did you already know about type advantages? Uh, it's pretty obvious that water beats fire. That's like one of the the type advantages that makes the most sense. But So it doesn't take a damn brain surgeon hop to use water gun on your fire bunny. All right. So we have won our first battle. Dexter gets up to level 7. Looking nice. You beat my two Pokémon with your one. You and that Sobble are too much. Got ourselves 400 buckaroos for winning. We rich already. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why. Lee thought he should give me a, you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let Charizard out and join in on all the fun. No, no, no. Not allowed. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? So we are going to get healed up, as indicated by that brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
wild battle here, and it's gonna be an all new Pokemon. We got ourselves a Squavit. Okay, little squirrel boy. Guess what? I don't think I have any Pokeballs, do I? I don't. Wait. Nope, that just says Pokeball. Okay, well, unfortunately, we cannot catch this thing. But what we are gonna do is just go ahead and water gun the hell out of it, so. Oof. The damage, though. So this is pretty much your standard, uh, like, Bidoof lad. Just the, the normal type you're going to find pretty much all over the place, I would assume. We have not seen the counterpart to this thing, which is essentially the Pidgey version. Wherever the hell the flying guy is. I'm assuming we'll find it soon. <clears throat> but continuing. Ooh, hold up. We crouch and when we get into the grass, we actually crouch around. That's pretty cool. What's up, buddy? You seen any traces of the Wooloo? Doing all right there, Sobble? Let's be sure you're in tip-top shape. Oh, wow, he heals us up, too. Nice little hand-holding early on. Love to see it. Uh, so we are going to head into some more grass. And the wild Pokemon encounters are actually pretty interesting. And there it is! A Rookidy! It is so amazing seeing new Pokemon for the first time. It has Unnerve, too nervous to eat berries, which is cool. Okay. We cannot catch you, Rookidy, because uh, nobody's given us any damn Pokeballs. But I think that's actually a great design. I like it a lot. It's definitely better than a lot of the other early route flying types, so we'll take it. Got a level 7 there. We probably don't need to do too much grinding in Sobble, so I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit, but we're just going to continue to the left. There's really no alternate ways you can go here. Kind of just a straight shot to the left. Do you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I'm going to go ahead and assume so. The music is interesting. I am kind of just taking it all in right now, to be honest. I don't know if walking slowly decreases your chances to find Pokemon or what, but we ran into another damn squirrel. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot other than these birds and squirrels, so we're just going to go ahead and run from you. Very interesting. What is that call? Come on, Hayden, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. It probably got swooped up by something, man. We're, we're going to have to get into our... What if it's like a raid battle right to start? It is so cool playing a new Pokemon game not knowing what to expect at all. My god. I'm straight nerding out right now. Why is it, Why would they make the first place you go into foggy as hell? Not the best way to showcase the new graphics, but it's fine. This is mad. Can't even see my own hand in front of my face. Think you got... Get now why this place is off limits. Yeah, that's why there's that one little fence there. Ooh, something's going down. You can tell because we got ourselves a cutscene. Uh, hello? They gonna hit us with a legendary right from the bat? I do not remember your name. L Lord? Laror? Lorard. <laughs> Hold up. Why are we about to battle this thing? Right? What, what is going on? My little Sobble about to get fucked up. Okay, well, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna, um... We're going to water gun it. Yep, that's what we're going to do. It's got question marks for its level. Move has no effect. Mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. Basically, just made him third. Like, he was thirsty. Now he's like, thank you for that. Why is this thing's tip of its ear is, like, chopped off? What's going on here? Water gun's not going to do anything. And, uh-oh, that thing could absolutely just obliterate me if it really wanted to, and now it's just going to make more fog instead. I can't see anything. What's going on here? Um, do I run? I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep attacking it, because it seems like that's what we're, it's wanting us to do. Samba's got some damn good eyesight, though. We're already, we're, we're still hitting, even though I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, my God, my eyes. I am blinded. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's, it's looking, uh, well, I guess we found the cause of the fog, huh? And, uh, Uwa? I don't know if that was us saying that, or what, what's going on here? I need an adult. My first day as a Pokemon trainer. It's getting a little bit crazy. Okay, we just straight blacked out. Hello? <laughs> what? Hop, Hayden. Okay, so, freaking champion's gonna come to the rescue. He's gonna tell us a couple more times how he's undefeated, and he's gonna be like, what are you guys doing out here? You're... How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. What? You always get lost. Is that is that bad? Is I'm learning all sorts of new lingo today. That's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. Been waiting ages for you two. 
You never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wolu? We're trying to rescue that Wolu. The freaking legendary ate it. Nope, the Charizard's gonna eat it. Little chap's just fine. Though all you fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. You know, anything I've ever seen about dragons and sheep, if I've ever seen how to train your dragon, they, they eat them. This is not, not looking good. Even though Charizard's not actually a dragon, this little boy about to get roasted. At least the Wulu's alright. Yeah, Hayden thought we'd had it when that fog started rolling in. The mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon, what are you talking about? Seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. Just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. Yeah, the thing was uh, definitely a high level. Moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, live in the slumbering weld. Wield. Are you really illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones that reveal the truth someday. Alright, so I guess we saved the Wooloo. Our, our, our job here is done, it seems. And uh, we're heading back to hopefully a sunnier day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to the Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare you if you leave without a word. She'll go spare, I mean. Not, not spare me. I, see, I'm still learning. Alright, guys. Well, that was definitely an interesting start. It, uh keeping me on my toes but guys we are going to end the first episode here thank you so much for watching don't don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed we'll hit you with one more spin for the road and we will be back with episode two peace out guys